There we go. Hey, this is H1. And we're going to be running it back with another episode talking about chest knowledge, chest wisdom, and chest understanding again. Hopefully you're prepared for this because we are going to be going over traps this whole stream. All we're going to be going over is chest traps. So just sit back, relax, and enjoy. Hey, Roro, how you doing? Hopefully you're doing good, man. I want to get hype. Get the energy up. Let's get the energy up. Let's get it. All right, cool. Who's all in here? Get the energy up. I'm waiting. Keep the likes up. Get the likes up. Let's get to a thousand likes before we start the stream. Hey. Let's get it. Let's start sharing the lives. Okay, we're going to be going over chest traps this whole stream so that everybody understands. We're going over chest traps this whole stream because it seems like there's a lot of people that is interested in that. What do you, tell me what y'all think about that. Give me a whole like, me a whole lot of likes. All right, cool. Let's get started. One to a hundred. So in this game, this is a short game that ended in eight moves. This is a chest trap. It's a common chest trap. And who just shared the live? We got August Villy that just shared the live, man. Okay, let's get into it. In this position. This trap actually is for the white pieces. After the move e4, then our opponent does the move e5, knight f3, attacking this pawn. So, attacking this e5 pawn. So, this trap is in most of the openings that most of you play already. Keep the likes up. Most of you already play this opening. So, just remember this. You got to remember these moves. After knight f3, knight c6, and then d4 goes into the scotch. Uh, it goes into the scotch game. After d4, e takes on d4, knight takes on d4, then I have the move knight to f, no, not knight to f6, not in this moment. We got the move queen to h4, which is actually part of this opening. And if you play the scotch game, you've probably seen this a few times already. Thanks for sharing the live. I appreciate it, Saber. Yell with beast. The board is backwards. Oh, no. You should have told me. Let me restart then. Let me restart since the board was backwards. Let's, let's get back into it. Let's get back into it. The board was backwards. That's my fault. Faulty streams happens all the time. E4, E5, Knight F3 attacking the pawn, Knight C6, and then D4 going into the scotch game. After E takes on D4, Knight takes on D4, then the move that is usually played here is Queen to H4. What do y'all think is the next move in this position? We got the Rose by Juan. We got the Rose by Juan. How you doing? I'm not calling you Justin anymore. You're Juan. Um, that's what you want to be called. We got a live share by Andra. Thank you. Appreciate it. Let's get into it. In this position, what would you do next? Because this queen on the h4 square is attacking this e4 pawn. So how are we going to defend? How are we going to defend? And please... Everybody who's in a TikTok Discord that is free in the TikTok bio and people in the, the subscription TikTok, make sure you announce to everybody that I'm streaming right now. Make sure you announce that I'm streaming right now. I want as many people as possible to go through this, go through these traps, go through the stream. Keep the likes up. Don't slow down. Hey, I need I need y'all to be good. All right. Keep the lights up. <laughs> what is the next move here? After queen h4, how would white defend here? After queen h4, how would white defend here? Uh, I'm up here telling everybody. I'm telling everybody in the, in the Discord right now that I'm streaming. All right, come on. What is the best move for white here? What is the best move for white? The queen goes to h4, attacking this e4 pawn. How would white... A dude is ripped. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> that, was, that was random. Yo, Koskitty, how you doing? This is a chest trap that we're going over for the white pieces here. And after queen h4, attacking this e pawn, how is white supposed to defend in this exact position here? How is white supposed to defend? 
queen d3. Juan, so, Quan, you want to do queen d3 to, to protect the pawn? I'm thinking that move is actually... That move is viable, yeah. That move is actually part of a variation. What is another move how we could defend the pawn on e4? Um, bishop d3, bishop d3. So after bishop d3, knight takes on d4. Yeah, that's that's kind of bad. We don't want to just be losing pieces. We don't want to just lose the knight. Keep the likes up and going because we're going over all, pretty much all the chess traps. This is like early access content before I put it out on like my profile. So if you're here for the stream, you're going to be getting a lot of extra content that you that is not on my channel yet. So knight c3 protecting the pawn. After knight c3, which you said, what if I told y'all that knight f6 is a blunder by black? What if I told y'all that after knight f6 happens here, this is busted for black? And actually the moves that were supposed to be played was either bishop c5 or bishop b4 by the opponent. But, but after knight f6, there are a couple moves that are really horrible uh, for black. What is the next sequence? What are we supposed to do here? Keep the likes going, keep on sharing the lives. I'm gonna be shouting out the people who's been following and who, who's been sharing the live and who has been liking. So keep on going. We're trying to hit 50K likes. That is the goal of every single stream, but let's hit at least 15K first because this is gonna be a crazy blunder that I'm gonna be showing you right now. And I'm gonna show you how to deal with this. Dave and the writer, hey, how you doing? I'm going to show you how to deal with this. If your opponent plays knight f6 here, what is white's next best move? What are we doing here? We got Matthew that joined. We got, who was? We got Koskiti that's joined. And I can wait. I, I need y'all to, to figure this out. This is a chess trap, and knight to f6 is a big blunder by black. How can we take advantage of that blunder? Man, let me turn this heater off. Let's, shoot, it is hot up in here. I almost got burnt by my own heater. <laughs> I almost got burnt by my own heater. <laughs> Keep the likes up and going. Hey, we had 18,000K likes, man. That's a lot. What is the next move by White here? So, Ackbird, you are correct. Well, you are correct on g3 being one of the best moves in this position because g3 does the exact same thing that this next move does. Knight to d5, not knight to d5 here. We're trying to, so after knight f6, what happened was this queen cannot go back to d8. It cut the, the moves off from the queen. So now this queen is over here and it can be easily trapped. If you look, this bishop on c1 is covering this diagonal and this queen is kind of awkward on this h4 square. So how can we trap this queen on the h4 square? That is the main goal. Row, row, you are correct. Knight f5 out of both of them is the easiest suggestion of, um, of this chess trap. Because after knight f5, what would you do after queen h5? What would you do after queen h5? What would y'all do here? What would y'all do here? Pawn g4, trade queens, queen takes on g h5, g4. Those are not the right moves. Give me the right move. <laughs> I need the right move now. Bishop e2, thank you. Bishop e2 attacking the queen on the h5 square. And this is the only move that the queen can move to. After the queen moves to g6, what is the next best move? And this is a common chess trap in the, um, in the scotch game that you're going to have to like remember if you're playing this opening. After queen goes to g6, what is the move that we're playing here? Now, how can we attack the queen? The queen doesn't have that many spaces to go now. The queen does not have that many spaces to go now. Knight to h4, and Ethan just shared the live. Good job, knight to h4. And once you see this move right here, is there any other safe squares where the queen can go? 
Is there any other safe squares where the where the queen can go? I'm going to do a poll right now. Is there any other safe scores where the queen can go? And all the people who just joined, we're going over chest traps this whole stream right now. We're going over chest traps. What are we doing? Yeah, no, not at all. And let me explain this right quick. The queen is being attacked by the h4 knight, and so the queen cannot go to this h6 square or this g5 square because it is bishop on the c1 to h6 diagonal. And so the queen cannot go on the light squares either on h5 or g4 because of this bishop on the uh, d1 to h5 diagonal. And this queen cannot go to f5 because of obvious reasons. This pawn is doing really well. And this queen cannot take on g2 because of this knight that will recapture back on the g2 square. And so now the queen is trapped in this position and actually this game ended at this position um this was a grandmaster that lost this game and this is a common trap in the scotch game and yeah just a done deal taking out a grandmaster in eight moves all right y'all ready for this y'all ready for the next trap let's go into the next trap right quick I got traps for days. This is just content that I'm going to be putting out pretty soon, but whoever's in this live stream right now, hey, lucky you. <laughs> lucky you, for real, for real. Let's get into the next game. And plus, uh, keep the likes up and going. Keep on sharing the lives. Let's get into let's get into it. So this next so this next trap is actually um, for white. It's for white. So after e4, e5, Knight f3 attacking the e5 pawn, and then we have the move knight to c6, of bishop b5, and this is a trap in the Roy Lopez. After bishop b5, a6, and these moves happen all the time, bishop a4, and then we got the move d6 going into the Monersteinus defense. After bishop after d6, bishop takes on c6, and then we have the move c takes on c6 and d4. Control in the center. After the move d4, f6, f6, knight c3, then we have to move rook to b8. After rook to b8, queen d3, knight to e7, and everybody who is wondering why is this a chess trap, let me just explain. A grandmaster fell for this, and these moves happen all the time in the Steinus variation. If you're a common Roy Lopez player, you're definitely going to face these moves a lot often. And make sure that you keep the likes up and going. So after knight e7, h4, and then we have the move h5, bishop to e3. Then after bishop e3, we have the weird move rook to b2. What happens after rook to b2? What would y'all do next? What happens after rook to b2? A hide k, hide knight. What happens after rook to b2? Rook takes on b2. This is a trap because the rook could not take that b2 pawn. This is just a losing. This is actually um, a smidget better for the white pieces at this moment. But you're going to have to figure out the follow-up. Not castle king side. We're, we're, when we're thinking about traps, we're looking for all forcing moves, all checks, captures, and threats. Let's get into it. This is for the white pieces right now. This is a chess trap. How can we take advantage of the rook that's on b2? And is Wait a minute, queenside castle? So Roro, you're at the right spot right now, but we're not queenside castling just yet. We're not queenside castling just yet. In this position, make sure we keep the likes up. We gotta keep the engagement up because we want to popularize chess on TikTok. All of you who's here right now, all thousand of you who's here right now, we are part of a movement. Let's get into it, all right? There's not a lot of people that stream chess and hey, there's only a few of us. Give all the likes that you can to popularize chess on TikTok. Knight to a4, not knight to a4. What if I told you that it's something to do with the center of the board? What if I told you that it was something to do with the center of the board? Bishop c1, that's moving the piece back. We don't want to move pieces back. Hey, Captain, how you doing? And uh, Ransom, thank you for the rose. I appreciate it. 
and people who's following. We got Kool-Aid who's following. We got Yulian who's following. What do we got here? So pawn to d5 is close to the best move, but not yet there. Um, but thanks for the suggestion, Juan. I appreciate it. We got Lowen with the two roses. Okay, I see you. What is the best move for white in this position to take advantage of this trap of this b2 pawn? D, uh, okay, with my heart, thank you. I appreciate it. Hey, hi, my old underscore cat. We got the move D takes on E5. And we got this trap because if D takes on E5, what is the best moves for white? What is the best moves for white after D takes on E5 where the white pieces in black just fell for our trap? We, who we got liking here? We got Stardust in here. We got David um, donating one pizza. I appreciate you. I appreciate your pizza. Roro, after queen takes on D8, and then, I mean, you don't want to just get your queen captured, so black is going to just capture the queen back. What is your best move right now? And Roro, you just set this move previously. Are we going over a game or traps? We're going over traps. This is like a trap of like the B2 pawn and the Roy Lopez Dynas variation. Castle, which side are we castling? Rook a5. Not we can't go to rook a5. Yeah, now queenside castling. And once you queenside castling, which you can queenside castle because the rook isn't checking your king. You can castle at this moment, and the rook doesn't even pass by the rook at all. But after queenside castling, the rook is checking the king and attacking the rook at the same time. Checking the king and attacking the rook at the same time. So the king has to defend itself and you get a free rook. And that is a chest trap of the B2 pawn, all right, that you could do if you are the white pieces here. And let me just show you previously what happens after. Let's say that you take, let's say that black was pretty smart, right? And he's seen this move. And that's why he would take with Okay, we just took this pawn on e5. Let's say that we took with the f pawn. If we took with the f pawn, what would be the best move for white? Thanks for sharing the live, Bill. Bill? Bill! 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 <laughs> Bill, hey, did y'all see Bill Nine the Science Guy on TikTok? That was crazy. But anyway. <laughs> who, who we got sharing? We got Colin sharing. We got Jeet sharing. Okay, Captain. Mile high, uh, mile high underscore cat. Knight takes on e5, does the exact same move. So now, if black captures this knight on e5, then the exact same thing happens. Queen takes on d8, king takes on d8, and then queen side castle, and you get this rook on b2. So that's one trap that you could do with the Roy Lopez. Now, let's go over another trap. We're going over traps this whole stream. I'm gonna see how many traps I can go over in like an hour. <laughs> okay, thank you. Stay with me here. Uh, make sure that you like the video and make sure if you're trying to improve in chess, go. Hey, I got a free discord that you could join in my TikTok bio where you can connect with other chess players and improve your chess games and do the daily puzzles every single day. And if you need chess help, go to the discord. Ask me questions personally. I'm not shy. I got you. I got you, homie. OK, let's get into this next chess trap. All 1,200 of you here. We doing push-ups? Yeah, we doing push-ups. We already reached over 50K likes. And let's reach over 100K likes because I want to do 50 straight diamond push-ups. Let's get into the next chest trap. So in this game, this game pretty much ended... Wait a minute. I'm trying to do shorter games because it's a lot more reasonable. Actually, let's, yeah, let's go into this chest trap. It's, it's part of the Greek gift. Hopefully, everybody knows what the Greek gift is by now, but hey, it is what it is if you don't. After the move d4, d5, c4, we're going to the queen's gambit, and then we, go, we got the move knight f6 going against the martial defense. After knight f6, c takes on d5, and then we have the move knight takes on d5, knight f3, knight to c6, and then after knight c6, we got the move. What do we got next? I'll let y'all figure it out. What, what is the next move here? And this is just part of the opening, and this is already demolishing for the white pieces here. What is the next move right now? This is your time to shine. Keep on liking the video, everybody that is viewing. I'm feeling the love from the screen right now. E4, yes. <laughs> After E4, then we have the move knight to F6. 
After knight to f6, this is just a horrible position. What would y'all play next here? After knight to f6. And this next move is just a developing move. But it is very crucial for this position. It is very crucial. After the knight goes back to f6, what would you do next? Jason Smith, thanks for sharing the live. Gangsta. Gangsta holic? Holistic? <laughs> thanks for sharing the live. Bishop e5. Bishop d3. Not we're not. What if I told you we're not moving the bishop in this position? What if I told you? What if I what the heck? What if I told y'all that we're not moving the bishop? Cole Skitty, you are you are correct. We got knight c3 protecting the pawn on e4. And now we got the whole center already. After e6, we got the move bishop to d3, bishop b4, and after bishop b4, we got castle king side, castle king side by our opponent, which is actually a big mistake in this position. Castle and king side for the black pieces is a huge blunder already already in our chess trap in the beginning of the in the beginning of the stage of chess in the initial moves. This is only eight moves and they're already losing. What is the next move now? What would y'all do here? Y'all are going to have to find this next combination to defeat our opponent with the black pieces here. Y'all are going to have to find the next move to defeat our opponent with the black pieces here. The oh, so now we got the money gun up in here. Hey, um, put actually, I'm gonna do a poll right quick just for something random that I was thinking about. Should I get a money gun? What, what do y'all think about a money gun? Smile if you're like, hey, that would be cool. Cry if you're like, ah, that's come on, we don't need a money gun in chess, we're sophisticated. What is the next move though in this position? We got quotes for Brokey saying knight e5. Well, what's, what's another move here? Because it's not knight to e5. <laughs> Y'all just want me to pick up all the money <laughs> afterwards. Uh, Juan, you are correct. We got the move e5, which is part of the trap here. And black should not have castled. The one time where it's where black shouldn't have castled. The one time where you have to not do the principles that we was brought up to, to believe in. After the move e5, and if the knight moves like to e5 or d5, that's the position. What do we do next here? What is the next move now? We got paper crane. Got, got a paper crane, don't know. Okay. Black is definitely losing in this position after the knight moves to d5. And most people know this as the Greek sacrifice. Juan, you are correct. A bishop takes on h7, checking the king. After the king captures, what is the next move now? Bishop g5. Not bishop g5 in this position. Cold skitty. Well, keep the likes up and going. Keep on sharing the live stream. We're going over chest traps all day. Let's get it. Mile high underscore cat. You are correct. Knight g5 attacking the king. And after the king moves back, which is probably like the best square to move to, because after king moves to like g6, you got moves like queen g4 you have to deal with. But if the king moves back to g8, this is just already over. Especially after the move, what? After what move is the position already over? Where are the white pieces here? We're showing how we're going to dominate the position. We're basically defeated our opponent in 12 moves already. We got a wing position in eight moves. Mile high underscore cat. Uh, not queen c2, but get into the opponent's face with queen h4. Do you see that? Queen h4. Threatening checkmate with queen to h7. Knight can't even go back to f6 or pawn would capture. Well, even if g6 was played, queen h7. If f6 is played, queen h7. If rook to e8, probably the only move to survive this. Queen h7, king f8, queen h8, king e7, queen takes on g7. That, it's just a loser position. Actually, queen f7. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Queen. So rook e8, queen h7, king f8, queen h8, and then king e7 queen takes on g7 yeah i was right the first time that that position is just horrible for the black pieces all right y'all ready for the next chest trap we're going over every single chest trap in this stream not every single chest trap let me stop lying these are probably chest traps that isn't went over a lot um but hey you're here for it right now let's go over another chest trap 
and this will be posted on YouTube if you want to look back over it. This will be posted on YouTube if you want to look back over it. My chess channel is called Chess Knowledge with H1. And it's going to be on the playlist TikTok live streams. Let's go, in, let's go into the, uh, another game right quick. And most of these chess traps comes from real games. Most people don't understand. Okay, so this is a chess trap for the black pieces here. Y'all ready for this? So we got the move e4, e5, knight f3, and then attacking the pawn. But after knight f3, we got the rushing game, knight to f6. After knight takes on e5, then we have the move knight to c6 that goes into what gambit? What gambit is this? What gambit is this? Scholars made it while doing the my chess career got ended and I accidentally got scholars made it while doing the Sturm Gambit. No! <laughs> Don't do the Sturm Gambit. What is what is this gambit called? The King's Gambit? No, this isn't called the King's Gambit. This is called the, the Stafford Gambit. This is the Stafford Gambit. And this is a like a well-known trap in the Stafford Gambit. Knight takes on c6 is what's played here. After knight takes on c6, d takes on c6. Then white usually does the move like d3. Safe move. After d3, bishop to c5. And actually, after bishop to c5, y'all know what a major mistake is in this game? Do you do this often? Well, wait a minute. What do you mean do you do this often? But anyway, a major mistake, a major chess trap that white can fall into, that, and this is a real game, bishop g5. What happens after bishop g5? Can y'all tell me? I stream every single day. That's what I do. And keep on liking the video. Keep the likes up. We're almost to 100K. We're almost to 100K likes in like 30 minutes. That is impressive. Keep the likes up and going. Y'all slowing down. Come on. There we go. There we go. Come on. What is the best move right now? What is the best move for the black pieces? Well, this is the chest trap for the black pieces in the Stafford Gambit. And this Gambit is pretty crazy. This Gambit is pretty crazy. What are we doing here? H6? Oh, come on. I don't see any moves. Give me some moves. H6. We got, we got six roses. Bishop F5. Not Bishop F5. Bishop f5, e takes on f5, come on, give me a better move. Juan, you got this. Bishop g4, well, bishop g4 is attacking the queen. Okay, I get that, but there's actually an explosive move in this position, especially for all my Stafford Gambit people. All my Stafford Gambit people. It's okay, it's okay. I'm just putting pressure on you because this is how the game of chess works. This is good pressure because I want to push you into a good a, a good winning uh, position. D4 maybe? Okay, let me give you a hint. What if I told you in this game it is a sacrifice? Right? What if I told you in this game it's a sacrifice? And that's the chess trap that White has fell for. I know I have to move Bishop Knight G4. So, okay, you're almost there, but it's not Knight G4. It's not Knight G4, but you're almost there, Willie. Mile high underscore cat. You got bishop. What you said? Bishop f2? Bishop takes on f2? No, not yet. No, no, no. Not knight g4. Not knight g4. Not knight g4. There's actually a better move. Way better move. Because knight g4, we're just losing a queen even though you get the pawn on f2. Mile high underscore cat. You see this? You see the move? Row, row. There you go. My friend. Row, row. You, you've been an OG person for a long time. Knight. Look at this. Knight takes on e4. Knight takes on e4. Look at this explosive move. And we got another subscription, dire underscore wolf. Hey, make sure you chat along with everybody else. Knight takes on e4. Now we're going to have to go through the variations first because we've got to get the good follow-up. If bishop takes on d8, what is the best move? If bishop takes on d8, what is the best move for the black pieces now? What are we doing here? Why not bishop takes on f2? Why not bishop takes on f2? 
Because we got something bigger. We got something better. Even though bishop takes on f2 does still win. But we do got something bigger and better. Knight takes on f2. Not knight takes on f2. Not knight takes on f2 because that's just a normal, that's a normal fork on queen d1 and rook h1. That's a normal fork. We don't want to do that. Bishop takes on, bishop takes pawn. Okay, so after bishop takes on f2, king e2, what happens next? And we just sacrificed our queen to get what? To get this certain term in two moves. <laughs> I don't, come on, I need you to do it. I'm, I'm trying to coach you through this. I don't want to just give you the moves. Keep the likes up and going. Mile high underscore cat, yep. Bishop g4, and look at this amazing checkmate. Just all at this. Wow, whoa, what is going on? Bishop g4, and let me explain this checkmate just for everybody who's a beginner. After bishop g4, the king is being attacked. The king cannot capture the bishop on f2 because the knight is defending the bishop on f2. The king cannot go to d2 because of the knight. The king cannot go to e1 or e3 because of the bishop that is taking care of all the light squares. And the queen and the bishop on f1 is doing a disservice to the king on e2, and this is checkmate. So in this position, in this position right here, White cannot take the queen on the d8 square. So what if they do not take the queen on the d8 square? What if they take the knight on the e4 square instead? What if they try to be smart with it, right? Keep the likes up and going because we got more tr chess traps than this. What if d takes on e4? What happens after this move? What, what are we doing? Thanks for sharing the live, Lander. I appreciate it. Around what rating would you see this happen more often in your opinion? I would see this happen probably not like ultra beginner level, like probably not under 1000 rating because it's so random. Probably around 1000 to like, well, this is actually a grandmaster game. So probably above 1000, probably above 1000. Hey, we got 100K likes. Thanks for mentioning that. What is the best move in this position though? And I'm pretty sure we could reach 150k likes. What are we doing here? This is all up to you. Come on. Sh show me what to do. Show me the light. <laughs> we got Grun in the building. Hey, thanks for joining. Cole Skitty, yes. Bishop takes on F2. After Bishop takes on F2 and King E2, what happens? And this is an actual game where the, the Grandmaster went to King E2. <laughs> Crazy enough. Well, not a Grandmaster exactly, like a chess master. <laughs> After King E2, what's the next best move? Bishop G4. After you see the move Bishop G4, I mean, don't you just want to resign after that? And the move went on for like one more game. I mean, one more move. King takes on F2. Queen takes on d1, and then now white in this position, resign. Crazy enough, I know, crazy game that knight takes on e4 actually works. And even if he does not take the queen, white is still losing because of this sequence of moves, even if they try to take the knight. So white couldn't take anything in this position. They would have to just avoid the pawn captures altogether or the piece captures altogether and try to defend. Yeah, mind blowing. I know it's crazy. Thanks for sharing the live. We got B X Z Y. Let's get into the next game. Let's get into the next trap. And you can look over these traps. I'm gonna be posting this video back on YouTube. It's gonna take me a minute because I have to like download the video, like cut some things out of it, things of that nature. But it will be on YouTube, my YouTube channel, Chess Knowledge with H1. And if you haven't joined the Discord yet, the it is in my TikTok bio, and it is free. You can connect with other chess players and improve your chess skills all together, just like us going over these traps. Okay, next game. What do we got over here? What do we got? Okay. And that, dang, is this the same? That, that's a weird, that's a weird trap. Okay, this is a chess trap. And this is for the black pieces. This is for the black pieces. D4, knight f6. And after knight f6, knight f3, e6. And then after e6, we got the move e3. 
after e3, c5, attacking the pawn on d4. Then we got the move bishop to d3 by, by white. After bishop to d3, black plays a, a weird move. A weird move to set up this chess trap. He plays the move g5. Might sound interesting, might look interesting, and to most people it might just look like a free pawn. It might just look like a free pawn. And you can get people with this trap, especially who plays like the Kali bear who plays like the Kali system or the Zirkatork system. But what happens after knight takes on g5? Can y'all tell me that? Let's go through this move very quick. What happens after knight takes on g5? What would y'all do here? Keep the lights up and going. Every time the lights get slower, the, the viewership goes down. We, we need everybody to be involved with this chess community. Thanks for the follows. Thanks for sharing. Shall, shalouv, shalove. Who else is following? We got Lion, we got Lion following. Leon. <laughs> Leon from Resident Evil. <laughs> we got Doghouse following. We got Billy Miller following. Dig. We got Practicey. Practicel. Mike Wiz following. Jo Jojo. Hey, bro. We got Jojo following. Are we going to get the best move for black? <laughs> what is the best move for black? What moves do we got here? Rook G8. Okay, so Rook G8 is attacking the knight. That is true. But we got some more moves here. We're for the black pieces. This is... Knight g4. Okay, so you want to do knight g4 to attack the knight. There's actually a better move though, and it's kind of sneaky, right? Most people wouldn't see this move. Most people would not see this move. What if I told you, just to give you a hint, that it's a pawn move? Knight c6. What if, just a hint, what if I told you that it's a pawn move? And it's a weird pawn move because you wouldn't have thought about this. It's a weird pawn move. Off for a draw. I didn't see it. H, not h6. Like we're, like, we're leaving the knight alone right now. h6 isn't going to do anything. It's just going to put the knight back and we're just going to lose a pawn. Juan. Hey, give a round of applause to Juan. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did you say the right, did you say the right pawn move? Oh, you said f4. Say the right move. I can't give I gotta retract my applause now. I gotta retract it. I don't ever know how to do that. Quotes for Brokies, you are correct. I'm thinking you meant that move, so I'm just gonna give you the credit anyway. Quotes for Brokies and Juan. C4. After C4, you probably see it right now, but maybe you don't. After Bishop takes on C4, what happens? What is Black's next move? What is Black's next best move here? And let's keep the likes up and going. Let's keep on sharing the live. You said F4 instead of C4. <laughs> you said F4. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Don't feel bad, man. You'll get your praise one way or another. Okay, so we're still not seeing it. So Bishop E4 is not the move to do after C4. What is... Black's plan. What is Black's follow-up? Because if we don't do their next follow-up, we're gonna lose. We can't do queen queen d5. We can't do we can't just hop over pawns. We can't <laughs> knight e4. Not knight e that's just giving away a knight. Come on now, let's think about this. If we're looking at all force and moves, what do we look at first? Checks, captures, and threats. Checks, captures, and threats. Have y'all considered all your checks? Have you considered all your captures? Come on now. Let's get with it. We've got 1,200 people following this. This is a chess trap. Queen. Oh, Cole Skitty, you mean Queen A5, which is definitely correct. Queen A5. And then once you see it, it's fascinating. Because we did G5 for a reason. The knight took the G5 pawn. And then we did C4 to open up the fifth rank. And then after bishop takes on C4, we're checking the king. The king is going to have to respond. And so white is going to respond with some... I don't know, some simple move, probably like knight c3. And then what do we do now? What do we do? Can we get to 200k likes before y'all start slowing down? <laughs> There's 1,200 of you here. Come on. After knight to c3, what is the best move now? And I know y'all was thinking. And thank you for thinking. Thank you for considering the best move in this position. 
We can't have tunnel vision. Ackbird, you're correct. Willie, you're correct. Not bishop b4, but queen takes on g5. And that's the whole reason why we did the g5 move, just attempt the knight to take it. And if they didn't take it, then g4 would have been kicking that knight somewhere else. But yep, that's the whole purpose of this trap was to do g5, prompt white to take it, and then we got this fork on this a5 to e1 diagonal, and then we're taking control of this whole fifth rank. So that was that trap. All right, next one. I know, how many traps do I got? I, I don't even know. But let's just continue. <laughs> let's just continue. All right, cool. Shoot, we got another trap in here. What, what, what's another trap in my little, my, my little study over here? Okay, this is another trap. It's in the Budapest defense. Next one. <laughs> <laughs> Next one. Oh, I, I see what you did there. Pun intended. I see what you did. So we got the move D4, and this is a trap by Black again. We got the move D4, Knight F6, and then we have C4. After C4, we have the move E5. E5, D takes on E5, and then our and then what is our next move after um, D takes on E5? What is our next move? And actually, this uh, actually this next move is kind of ugly. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, okay. So traps aren't necessarily to cause a win, but to take advantage of your opponent and force them into a weak position. Yeah. And then just to tell everybody, when you're doing traps, a good trap is when you do the move and you can still continue on with the game if your opponent does not fall into the trap. A bad trap is when you have to do a bad move to hope that your opponent does another bad move so that you can get a winning position, all right? But a good trap is when you don't have to do a bad move, when your position isn't horrible. But let's get into this next game. So after D takes on E5, 600 rating, by the way, what? <laughs> oh, is your rating 600? Okay, that's fine. Thanks for sharing the live, Random. I appreciate it, man. Who else is following? A knight g4. So knight g4 is actually the right move in this opening. But then, like, if you want to go for the trap, and this is actually considered a bad trap because you have to do this horrible move, knight to e4. But if you're just trying to have fun and just catch somebody off guard, then you can. And, you know, this is, actual, this is actually a real game. So after a3, uh, which most opponents do because they don't want to see the move bishop to b4, then we have the move d6. After d6, e takes on d6. Bishop takes on d6, and let's say, instead of our opponent doing a move like, I don't know, like knight d2, queen c2 in this position, e3, let's say they try to fiend kettle the bishop on f1 and do the move g3. What is the best move here? What is the best move here? After the move g3. g3 just makes white's position busted this quickly imagine winning the game in like six moves just because you know your openings like that mile high underscore cat you you are correct knight takes on f2 is losing and in this game the opponent just resigned but what happens after king takes on f2 let me just show you what happens after king takes on f2 what's the next move here queen f6 Oh, you said you was mentioning queen f6. Well, this is a lot more time precise because queen f6 give your uh, opponent time to like defend it. But just taking the pawn on f2 just leaves off with, uh, uh, okay, cool, skitty, you got the next move. Bishop takes on g3. After bishop takes on g3, pawn takes on g3. What is the next move now? that most people is not going to figure out. I don't know. We're going to see. Why was bishop sacrificed on g3? Not to do bishop c5. We're not doing bishop c5. And just to tell you the difference, take queen. Right. The queen is undefended in this position, so now we just got a free queen in a winning position. But let me tell you the difference between queen bishop c5 and bishop takes on g3. 
and why it's important to do bishop takes on g3. If you went bishop to c5 in this position, the king can go back to e1, defend the queen, and we're not getting a free queen. Actually, wait a minute. Oh, snap. Does bishop c5 still work? Because I was thinking about it. Bishop, king e1, bishop f2 still? Maybe it still works. Am I tripping? Bishop c5 still works? I didn't even look at that in my notes. Yeah, bishop c5 still works. Oh, okay, bishop c5 still works. Hey, sometimes I could be wrong as, as h1. <laughs> bishop c5 still works because after king e1, I just think that bishop takes on g3 is just easier. Bishop takes on g3 is easier. Because now the king cannot go back to e1 at all. You don't have to find that extra move for all of my beginners in the chat right now. And everybody who is in here, yeah, you just have to do an extra move. This is more precise doing bishop takes on g3. We forgive you. Thank you. Thank you. Keep the likes up and going. 1,600. Uh, 1,600 people view, viewing this right now. Okay, let's do the next trap. Let's do the next trap. Everybody keep on liking and everybody that is here right now, I do have a Discord that you can join that is free. And you can connect with other chess players, improve your chess skills, and use our chess channel to like ask questions. There's like over a thousand people in there. Almost over a thousand people in there. So let's get into this next chess trap. In this position, we are the white pieces. We are the white pieces. And this is a chess trap with the e4 pawn. After e4, e5, knight c3 going to the Vienna game. After knight c3, knight to f6, then we got bishop to c4. After bishop c4, most people like to do the move, knight takes on e4 against us. After knight takes on e4, what do you think white's next best move is? What do you think white's next best move is after knight takes on e4? E4, because what they want you to do is knight takes on e4, d5, forking our bishop and knight, but we're not just gonna run into our opponent's plan. And this is actually an opening. Take knight, yeah, we're not, the best move is not taking a knight here. I keep the likes up and going, it's slowing down. We can get to 200K likes before the end of the stream. Jalen Betty, we got another subscription. Hey, how you doing, man? We're like one more away from 100. Let's get this cracking. Let's get this cracking lacking. Keep your head up like a nosebleed. <laughs> Mile high underscore cat. Uh, Bishop E7. Bishop E7. Uh, Bishop takes on F7. Yeah, Bishop takes on F7. After Bishop takes on F7, then we got the move King takes on F7. And then what do you do here? Chess joke time. No, we're not doing a chess joke. I don't have any chess jokes set up yet. <laughs> what are we doing after, uh, after king takes on f7? Because that's, this is why we didn't just take the knight. Queen f3. Not, so remember, if you go queen f3, this knight can just go back to f6, and then we just lost out on a piece. We just lost a bishop. So we can't just do a normal check here. Oh, snap, we got 100 subscriptions. Ah, ah. Hey, <laughs> let's get it. Let's get it. I, I can't celebrate right now. We got to get through this chess trap. We got Billy Miller in the house, though. Let's let's start commenting. Let's start chatting it up. What's the next move? I already seen it. Knight takes on e4. After knight takes on e4, and it's not in the, and this is not even a chess trap yet. After knight c6, what is the best move by White? And we got nephew seventy seven subscribed. Let's get it. I want to see all of you chatting. All of I want to see all of your answers right now. We got over a hundred people that is uh, that signed up for the subscription. What is the next goal? I don't even know. I didn't. I didn't even think about passing a hundred in like in like two months. That's crazy. Uh, we got one one oh five. Yeah, let's make that the next goal. But anyway, what is the next move here? What is, did y'all answer? Uh, D3? D3? We're not doing D3 in this position. We're doing all forcing moves, all checks, captures, and threats. Keep the initiative going always. Because if you don't, that could give your opponent a chance to come back at you. Literally, that can give your opponent a chance to like punch you in the face. Like You don't want to get punched in the face, right? So why not be the aggressor yourself? 
<laughs> we're not we're not punching people in the face. I'm I'm sorry. We're not doing that. That's disrespectful. No hate stuff. <laughs> knight d4, knight g5. Uh, not knight g5 because queen takes on g5. What is a what is what is another good move? Quotes for brokies. Good job. Queen to f3. Are we going to pass 200k likes? We're almost there. Queen to f3, and now our opponent falls for the trap. So any other move is correct. If the king goes to e6, e8, those those moves are pretty correct. And black can still survive if the king goes to e7. Even if the king goes to g6, it's still survivable. But most people would want to go to king g8 to get the king out of all the threats that is in the position right now. But what is the next move that white does to pretty much punish black for their bad decision? What is the next move here? If you're thinking about it, we've got the queen on f3, we've got the knight on e4. It, it, it has to deal with these two pieces, right? What are we doing here? Queen b3. So you got the right decision. So you're almost there. Queen b3, it, we're going to have to take advantage of this diagonal. But we can't do that with queen b3 because of d5. So in this position, there's a powerful move what we can do to take advantage of this diagonal and of a second threat. Which, row, row, you just got it. Are we white or black? We're, we're the white pieces in this position. We're the white pieces. And row, row just got the right move. Knight to g5. What is the purpose of this move? Well, let me show you right quick. It's threatening not only f7, queen f7, checkmate. But if queen captures on g5, now what is the next move now? After queen captures on g5, what is the next move now? Yeah, because now we needed that queen to move out the way because beforehand d5 was protecting the pawn because of that queen. But now in this position, yeah, queen b3 and queen d5 works. Queen d5 I like better because it's just instant checkmate. <laughs> queen d5. Black is literally forced to just... Like, even if they do a move like queen e7, then they're still going to have to deal with, like, queen d5. This is a horrible position. This is a horrible position for the black pieces, and that's why... They are lost, literally. They're lost. And the only way to save this position, because of this chess trap, the only way to save it, queen d... Uh, so, it's, it's black's move right now. So, they would have to do queen e7, and then after queen d5, queen e6 ugly move. And they're going to lose their queen eventually. Yeah. Crazy trap. This is a crazy trap in, <laughs> in this position. Do y'all remember how we got here? And this is this came from the Vienna game. This came from the Vienna game. If all my people who play the Vienna game, you should be happy right now. Because in this position, let me just review it right quick. And this could happen in the game. Might it might happen. We got the move e4, e5, knight c3, knight to f6. All the people who just joined right now. Now I'm just going over the game so that y'all can see it too. Knight to f6, bishop c4. If knight takes on e4, the plan that black wanted to do is knight t takes on e4, d5, but we're going to do bishop takes on f7. And after bishop takes on f7, king takes on f7, then we got the move knight takes on e4. And if black just does the move knight c6, then we have queen to f3. Queen to f3. And if the king doesn't move to e8, e7, e6, g6, and they move to g8 because most people want to get the king into like a safe square, then knight to g5 ruins their whole position. Knight to g5 ruins their whole position. And they're going to eventually lose a queen. All right. Okay, let's get into a next trap. Let's get into the next one. We're not done yet. We're going to get into one more. One more trap. Um, nope, that's too easy. We already went over that. We're going to get into one more trap. Keep the likes up and going. 
Oh, this that might be for all my. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's gonna be a crazy one. Okay, let's do that one. Okay, we're gonna end this off with one more trap. Knight to G8. Keep the likes up and going. Keep on sharing the live stream. We're gonna end it with one more trap. Let's get into it. So, and this is against a Philidor defense. This is for the white pieces. E4, E5, and after E5, we got the move knight to F3, D6. After the move D6, we got D4, knight to D7. Then we have the move bishop to C4, C6. And after C6, what move do white play here? What do you want to play here as the white pieces? Keep on liking the stream. Keep on sharing the lives. I'm going to be shouting you out. Like Terry over here and Zach and N4N. I'm going to be shouting you out. What, do, what move do you want to play here? And this isn't the trap yet, but this is actually a variation that you can go down against the Philidor defense. What is the best move here? Bishop takes on f7. No, that's, that's, that's a little bit too risky in this position. I don't, that does not work. But you're heading in the right direction. Bishop g5, not bishop g5, not, but you're heading in the right direction. Just a wrong piece, Kolskitty. You're heading in the right direction, just a wrong piece. Got a, man, I can't believe we made it to over 100 subscriptions on TikTok, man. This is awesome. We're building a little community. Make sure if you if you subscribed already, make sure that you sign up for the Discord, the private Discord that you can join, talk, voice chat, things of that nature. Um, a knight g5. Billy Miller, you are correct. A knight g5 is the move to put pressure on the opponent, which usually if you put pressure on the opponent, they're going to eventually fold. Like the, the tougher they are, the more you're going to have to... Um, put tension in the, on the chessboard. But after the move knight to h6 to defend the f7 pawn, then we have this random move a4. I know. But this is actually a real game though too. After bishop e7, now they fell for a trap. And then you get the reason why we did the move a4 in this position. Because they did bishop e7 to attack the knight one more time and they're probably suspecting us to do knight f3. But what do we do here in this position? They fell for our trap. How can we take the opportunity? We reached over 200, 200K likes. I didn't even see that. Y'all did that super fast. Man, let's just see how far we can go then. We're going to reach for the stars. Like, what is the move that we do for the white pieces here? And this is against the Philidor defense. What is the best move for white? And this game was actually played, um, how long ago was this game played? Let me see, does it say here? 1945, this game was played. What are we doing here? Our opponent did bishop e7, our opponent did bishop e7 attacking this knight on g5. What is the next move for white to do here? I know y'all are just thinking, I get it. Queen f3, I like the move, I like the intention of attacking the F pawn, but that gives our opponent time to castle kingside, and we don't want to give him that much time. Um, Billy Miller, you are correct. Billy Miller, you are correct. Bishop takes on F7. When you're considering traps, you want to look at all the forcing moves, all the checks, and all the captures. First, after Bishop takes on F7, the only good move is taking the, taking the bishop back. You don't want to just leave the bishop right there and do king f8 because after king, after king f8, right? Let me just go over this. After king f8, knight to e6 is just ugly. So black usually takes the, takes the bishop on f7. After taking the bishop on f7, what do we do next? We're the white pieces here. We're trying to destroy our opponent. We just sacrificed our bishop, so the next moves have to be very forcing. The next moves have to be like a concrete plan by white. What is the moves here? Knight to e6. Billy, you are correct. After knight to e6, the queen moves to b6. After queen moves to b6, what do we do next? What is the plan here? What is the plan here? 
Um, Jalen, Betty, you are correct. We got the move A5. After A5, and then you're going to see the row plan pretty soon. Queen B4, and then what, what happens next after Queen B4? So we don't want to just go for material right now. I know a lot of people would want to take that pawn on G7, but we have a bigger plan of why that knight is on E6. And that's why we're attacking the queen. Now, in this position, the queen is attacking the king on e1. What do we do next here? With the white pieces, black just fell for our uh, chest trap after bishop e7, which looks like a regular developing move, but is super dangerous in this position. You always got to watch out for tactical motifs in the opening. So c3, attacking the queen. After c3, only square, well, there's two squares, but... If the queen moves to b4, if the queen moves to b5, what would white do? If the queen moved to b5, what would white do? I just want to get this move out the way, and then we're going to get back into the main line of the real trap. Yeah, Jalen, you are correct. Knight to c7, royal fork, the queen, rook, and king. So, literally, black's only move is queen c4. That saves the queen. But what happens next? The queen is attacking our knight on e6. What are we doing here? What is the next move? How can we take advantage of black's position here? Even though that they're more developed, we're smashing our opponent with the knight here because a sequence of moves. Koskitty, we got a1 to a4. What? Knight b3, not knight b3. What? The knight can't even go to b3. What are y'all you, you saying? Knight a3? If knight, remember, knight a3, queen takes on e6. Our queen is being threatened. So d5, not d5, that's too slow. Remember, when you're, when you're looking at chess puzzles, when you're looking at like threats, you got to look at all your checks, captures first. Got to look at these moves first. So, Robo, you are correct. The knight can take on g7, check. And then plus two, the knight can take, the knight can go to c7. So both of these moves are valid. Either way that you go, knight, knight to c7 check, and the king moves to d8, you're going to have to figure out this last move. What is the last move that just ruins Black's career? And after this move, he actually resigned. What's the last move that makes the opponent resign? And this was back in 1945. This is still a chess trap that you can use against the, Phil the Philidor defense. Knight c Knight c7, then rook a4. Rook a4? Does rook a4 still work? Yeah, rook a4 works. Rook a4 is definitely winning. Rook a4 is definitely winning. There's actually, you can get more material if you do this move, though. If you do the move that I'm thinking of. Instead of just sacrificing a rook. Well, it's not sacrificing because you're winning, winning a whole queen, but you can get more material. What is the move that I'm thinking of? Knight d2? So y'all thinking of knight d2 too? But if you do knight d2, queen d3 can happen. Even though this is still winning for white, we don't want to take that chance here. b3. Good job. B3. And what squares can this queen do here? What squares can this queen do? The queen cannot take on C3 because of the knight on, on B1. The queen cannot take on B3 because of the queen that is covering that square. The queen cannot go on <laughs> any of these squares because of the pawns. The queen cannot go to B5 because of this knight that's on the, the, the C7 square. The queen cannot go to E6 because of this knight. The, the knight was very crucial on the c7 square and the knight cannot uh, and the queen cannot go back to a6 because of the knight so we literally trapped the queen and that was the whole purpose of doing the bishop sacrifice was to trap the queen not to do checkmate on the king interestingly enough this is a trap and the opponent resigned right after this and so you can use this trap on uh, against the philidor defense all you e4 players that play the philidor defense use this trap and beat your opponent in how many moves 12 moves you can get into a winning position in 12 moves so all 2,600 of you, hey, thanks for being here. Like the video. And then plus two, make sure that you sign up for the free Discord that's in the TikTok bio. 
You can connect with other chess players and improve your chess skills, especially if you're an intermediate player and beginner. And we have some 2000 rated players in there too. I'll be doing chess tournaments all the time and I'll be doing these live streams every single day. <laughs> every single day. All right. Okay, that was pretty much the end of the stream. I'm gonna be doing push-ups like I do all the time at the end of the stream. All, all these traps, all these traps are too aggressive for me. I'll stick to my stone wall, safe and sound. Hey, that's you can do that too. I always do push-ups at the end. I always do push-ups at the end of the stream. Let's get let's get into it. I gotta get this song out. Okay, what are, what are we doing? So if y'all have any more questions, I'm, I'm actually, let me open up the chat for everybody. I'm going to open up the, the live stream for everybody because at the end of the stream, I always do so. Okay, y'all can ask me any questions, whatever you, whatever you want. And do the push-ups with me if you're going to stay here. Do the push-ups with me. Don't, don't be lazy. Don't be in the bed on your phone under the covers. I already know where you're at. <laughs> it's no don't be, stop scrolling. Stop scrolling. There's no turning back, pressing on toward a vision. It's no turning back, pressing on toward a vision. Oh, snap. Um, I think we're doing diamond push ups, right? Yeah, we're doing diamond push ups. Do it with me. Do whatever push-ups that you could do. Okay, that's 40. That's 40 push-ups. That's 40 diamond push-ups. I got to do 10 more. Do them with me. Let's get it. I, I post all the live streams on my YouTube channel called Chess Knowledge with H1. Go look over there at all my longer, ter longer videos. I got a whole collection now. This is a, actually... If you're a beginner, you need to X. <laughs> H1 is a legend at chess knowledge. I started to think about my next move. It happens, man. I'm not doing my Elmo voice. We're serious right now. <laughs> I'm going to be streaming on YouTube next. We're, I'm just going to play all my viewers. Okay, let's do it. We're back. Let's do, let's do 10 more. If you want the times of when I go live, I'll be posting it on the Discord. So join the Discord in my TikTok bio. There we go. Working hard and just living. Formal gather results. Working hard and just living. Okay, that's it. Yep, did 50. Any questions y'all want to get answered right quick? What traps do you mostly use? I use traps when I play like the Evans Gambit. But none of those traps was... Part of my repertoire. I'm usually a D4 player. You let only subs type. 
but then everyone at the end only at the end of the of the chess lessons i do sub only chats monday through friday and then everyone on the weekend <laughs> hey thank you i appreciate uh you liking the live streams books for beginners this is a really good book get this book it talks about every single thing that you need to know about chess as a beginner of course this, you need like something that talks about everything, the opening, middle game, and end game. Just buy a book that talks about everything. Nothing too serious. Any tips I would recommend for people barely starting to learn how to play chess? Make sure that you play games. Um, play chess games. Do puzzles. And then, I'm tired. Make sure that you study new concepts every single day. Uh, I mean, you don't have to do it every single day, but... The more, you, the more effort you put into the game is what you're going to get out of it. What should I think about when reflecting on my games? You should think about what you messed up on. You should be going over all your mistakes and being like, why did I do that stupid move? And then once you figure that out, don't do it again. <laughs> That's how you improve the, the fastest way possible. Hi, I'm quite bad. What do you think the best opening for beginners? If, what do you mean by bad? Because if you're just blundering pieces, no opening is going to save you. You just need to learn how to stop blundering pieces and look at your opponent's moves and blunder check. 250K likes. Let's get it. All right. I'm going to see y'all later. See you tomorrow. Same time. Let's get it. Tomorrow, same time. How can you apply chess in real life? Become a critical thinker. Finances. Accounting. Budget. Watch Graham Stephan. I don't know. Peace. <laughs>